I ain't been a great guy, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I just beat three temps, you know what I'm saying? 07, I called three temps, I beat, I, I, shit, I was fighting that shit for like two years. You know what I'm saying? On the low, like, niggas ain't, niggas ain't talk about it, niggas knew about it. We all kept it around, you know, around the family, you know what I'm saying? And those that, that work on the radio stations and all that shit, they ain't vibe on that, because yeah. they know I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't appreciate that shit. Yeah. Now, they did vibe on it, they did talk about it when I beat it. When I beat the case, they did. All the motherfucking DJs was like, yo, congratulations, Pistol, y'all, okay, y'all. You know, it's on the popping now. So, yeah. so, so who are you in, in the entertainment world? Like, you like some Suge Knight type of nigga? Like, <laughs> like, who are you? Like, you know, you don't rap. You just here, and you I'm got a, saying, you got just, a story. I'm just, I'm just, I'm but just, you well respected, so I'm, I'm trying, just, trying, trying to get to the people. Make it, man. Who are you? I'm me, man, Pistol. Yeah, cause the name you mean, motherfucker, that been, motherfucker that did a hundred years in jail. You know what I'm saying? I was one of the first predicates on Rikers Island. You know what I'm saying? Predicate means first nigga shackle the fuck up on Rikers Island. Not just come to the island and punch somebody in the face and get a red ID and all that. Nowadays you could just smack somebody, and you blood, little blood come out, they give you a red ID. Next time you know, next time you go to court, you go to court handcuffed and all that. You're a killer. Not like that. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, it was a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, shout out my man Shug. That's my man anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see I fuck with Shug, you know? Clear so, up though for the you know, for the streets, people thinking you're you know, with your brother Fat Joe and all that. Nah, we know. That would be man, that was Joe. Joe's my brother for life, man. And the name it, it will always be name and the name. It was it will always be Kill All Rats T S for life. You know what I'm saying? I'm Joe's brother. Ain't no separation, ain't no different shit, ain't no nothing. Joe they suck the producer on his album. Joe the one that made shit happen, opened the doors for me and told niggas, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, blah, he blah. Him and my man, Steve LaBelle, another dude, you know, he, and it's crazy because he here, you know what I'm saying? He in the back, but you know what I mean? So basically, you know, that's how it would never be no, no, no boys, because I'm a loyal nigga. So as long as you keep it one million percent with your dude, like, Joe could be kicked the fuck up and have 30 million, I don't give a fuck what the nigga got. I don't want nothing. I just want you, I just want you to open the doors for me. You know, it's Pistol Pete presents KAR. Should hopefully be out May. We going through Koch, Koch Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Allen up there. You know what I'm saying? And um, Shadow D. You know what I'm saying? And um, we basically moving forward, man. You know what I'm saying? We got everybody on that shit. We got Rick Ross on it. We got Joe on it. We got Buster on it. We got Nipsey. I don't know y'all met Nipsey already, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? He that new breed, that new hungry breed from L.A. He rolling with the realest niggas out there, you know what I'm saying? So, he got money, you know what I'm saying? But as far as my name and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of people compare me to Shug and all that, you know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, I have a lot of, I just ain't big and tall as big as shit, but I'm big as a motherfucker up in the inside, you know what I'm saying? But basically, man, I'm a, a lot of people feel they can't get, they can't communicate with me. They be like, damn, nigga, pistol, be, you know, he's cocky, he's, he be bugging out, he be smacking niggas and all that. DJs don't want to do something, they, they choke him out, or he send the goonies or something to get him. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm a humble dude. You know what I'm saying? If I, if, if I see that you a real motherfucker, I'm gonna take my time to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no funny style, nigga. I'm not going. I'm here, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm reachable, like, I'm here in the corner, we go to the store from here, go, you know what I mean? We can drink, what you see I ain't no funny that. style nigga, I ain't the nigga that's gonna be around and be Hollywood, like, all these niggas and shit be on the radio, and all these niggas be out here fronting, them niggas never in no club, niggas don't be out here, niggas don't do shit, man, niggas be fronting like a motherfucker, like the niggas is real, you know what I'm saying? They might be real to a certain degree, you know what I'm saying, but as far as... All that little hood shit and all that, like the niggas out here and all that, niggas lying like a motherfucker, man. Niggas ain't out here. Niggas, you don't see niggas in no club, you know what I'm saying? You, hell no. You don't see none of these pussies, none of them, you know what I'm saying? Them, on top of that, you know, like, it's the, you know, niggas always bragging, always talking shit, you know what I'm saying? But you can't even, you can't even reach these niggas. Half of these niggas got the precinct with them niggas, you know what I'm saying? You can always, always understand and believe this. If we ever pop off crazy, K.A.R., kill all rats. If we ever pop off, you can best believe we ain't gonna have no Rob Cash, Leader, Mike back once. None of them niggas ain't gonna have no motherfucking police niggas with us. 
We're going to have a bunch of ACHU niggas with us. You know what that is? You know what ACHU is? Let them know. A bunch of spe special housing unit niggas with us. Let them know. You know what I'm saying? That's the niggas that be in the bing, in the box. <coughs> Up north, that's what you call the box. ACHU, special housing unit. That's what we're going to be on the road with. A bunch of motherfuckers going to be with them niggas, holding them niggas down. It's going to be a bunch of jail niggas. You know what I'm saying? As long as them niggas is able to be mobile and motivate, you know what I'm saying? And without getting they stuff caught up in that, they good bread with us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get niggas, we're going to look out for niggas, man. Niggas can go on the road and get money. All right, the name. Your name is real controversial, you know, due to the sex money murder pistol peak. Right. So, you know, do you do you hear that a lot? Not really. Because you know. Pistol Pete, my man. You know Pistol Pete's my little man. Just to, just to make shit yeah, clear. Yeah, clear that up. Cause Pistol Pete like, is my little man. <clears throat> You gotta understand what Pistol Pete was in the house. I was already in jail. I was already in the street busting my gun. You know what I'm saying? He's a little dude. For me, my son is almost like Pistol's age. You dig? So it's like, and Pistol was in jail with me too in the feds. You know what I'm saying? Pistol, when he, Pistol came to jail, he was, first thing and the most important thing he wanted to do was see me and meet me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I gotta see Pete. I gotta see Pistol. We was in MDC, Brooklyn. We both from the Bronx. The fuck we doing in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? Cause we was smashing shit up in there, you know what I'm saying? He was doing what he had to do and I was doing what I've been doing what I was doing what I was doing. Feel me? To me it's no all that jail shit is nothing new, it's nothing to me. Like right. that's just like a walk on the fucking yeah, park. Yeah, that, that's your world right yeah, there. Yeah, that's my world. Like I come through there and it's like the fucking king came through, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like fucking <laughs> I'm saying that's through all races, you know though, what I'm right? saying? Nah, through all races. Shit is crazy, man. Niggas love me. You just get truth you know what drop, me? baby. The truth, man. That's what it is. Nah, but real shit, though. Real shit, though. Like, forget it, but the jail shit is a whole different thing. The truth is when you look, when you do your history, you know what I'm saying? You look up Rikers Island, just when you go back, <laughs> whenever you go back to your shit computer, just dial, just Rikers Island, boom, and then just put Pistol Pete. Oh, man, I already know I'm from the BX. No, so I'm just saying, bro. You know, know, that's how you know the truth. I'm not going to sit back and go yeah. with niggas and be like, yo, you know, the, I'm not going this pistol. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was out here. He did his thing. He got a million years, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't never going. I'm not. I'm not on that. You know what I'm saying? Right. He got his own belief, and that's the bottom line. To me, he's a man. I ain't gonna disrespect no man. You know what I'm saying? Whether he's thirty, whether he's four years old, I don't give a fuck. He kept it one million percent. He kept it real. He's a man. And I'm not. I'm not with. That. I'm not gonna go back with the DVD. He's a fake pistol. I'm not with all that. <laughs> it could be thirty pistols. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? As long as niggas know who the fucking Puerto Rican man is, it's gonna be good money. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line. You know so what, what about the thing like with Fat Joe? Clear that up, cause you know, really, we really want to sit down with Joe on that. You know, a lot of brothers at Castle Hill saying like, "Oh, you don't fuck with the Moranos and all that, Remy Monsters." So niggas is kind of bitter up there. You know, they niggas feel like bitter, niggas always be better. <laughs> when a nigga fucked up or a nigga hungry or something, nigga be better than motherfucker. You gotta understand, niggas is niggas be mad. Niggas is hungry. Niggas is hungry in the street. So niggas is, shit, I was a better motherfucker too, you know what I'm saying? I did a hundred years up top, them came, went to the Bronx, extorted the whole fucking Bronx. I went to jail for extorting drug dealers, you know what I'm saying? I went to, I went to jail with motherfuckers, but these niggas, John Gotti, them pussies went to jail for, you know what I'm saying? So, so do you think it's just New York being bitter, like the blacks in New York? Because it's down south, you know, we got a, there's a group of kids called Snitch Killers, and they was like, Yo, big shouts to kill all rats. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Deep, no, I don't even, even like I never even heard of them or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's real. You know what I'm saying? We respect. So do you think it's just in your neighborhood? Or like yeah, it's not my neighborhood. Shit, we shoot videos of money. We in the neighborhood. Well, not your neighborhood, but just shit. in your borough. You always gonna find motherfuckers that can't make everybody happy. Did you know that? If you come up tomorrow and and, and you doing this this DVD thing here, right? And your DVD. Huh? Uh, and you do your DVD, and you happen to just get whatever. No motherfucker pop you off and say, yo, we believe in your DVD and your whole movement and give you a million dollars. You can't take your whole crew with you. You're going to feed your whole block. You can't. You can't bring everybody with you. So a lot of niggas going to be better. Now motherfuckers going to be mad at you. You know what I'm saying? You can't feed everybody. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of niggas been out here for a fucking million years. Them pussies still taking the train. Them motherfuckers not focused. That's because that you want to. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Now, Joe ain't give me no freebies and none of that. Like, 
Nigga, just open the door for me, my dude. I'm good money. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna hustle.